I'm Judea Marie, and here on A Positive Note, we highlight the most heartwarming stories from around our tri-state that move and inspire us. And that brings us to the Bronx, where one girl is living life in the fast lane. That's because she just got a new dream car. But she has no license, no registration, and her feet barely touch the pedals. Oh, did I forget to mention she's only five years old? Oh Five-year-old Linnea Coosley is cruising around in style. All thanks to this new mini Mercedes car, at the Children's Hospital at Montefiore. <laughs> Linnea's been getting treated for leukemia here since the summer, and now she's rolling up to the OR, jamming to tunes. And even though it's only her second time behind the wheel, Linnea's got no fears. Evident by her clutch driving skills, especially around those tight corners. I can, I can see the car donated by the Paul Luisi Foundation, which has donated 12 of the cars to seven city hospitals. She got it and she was just on a roll. Mom Levine Edwards says it's also helped boost her daughter's confidence, especially during some of the tougher procedures. For a five-year-old, that's really frustrating and overwhelming, and I think this makes it fun for them. Yeah, I bet treatments don't seem as scary when you're riding to them in style like Linnea here. <laughs> Such a cute gift from the Paul Louisi Foundation. Now, when kids write letters to Santa, they're usually asking for former bees, bikes, and baby dolls, right? But one little girl in New Jersey had something totally different in mind. Kendall's Christmas wish was to see her big brother who's been stationed with the U.S. military in Jordan. And Santa made it happen. It's been almost a year, but they haven't missed a step. I'm actually really happy and excited. She just missed him so much, and every day she'd FaceTime him. Every Santa <laughs> has gotten the same list that she wants her brother to come home for Christmas. Now, Kendall's a girl after my own heart, because guess what the second thing on her list was? A nice home-cooked steak. Yes, and I'll take mine well done with a side of garlic mash. Now, another fun fact about me, I've competed in a few pageants throughout my life, so trust me when I say I've heard the stereotypes about beauty queens. Well, throw all of them right out the window because one young lady from Westchester is proof that beauty is more than skin deep. I remember watching Miss USA on stage and just seeing the poise and all of them and how amazing they are. A lifelong dream. The women on stage, they have this crown on their head and that acts as a megaphone. That started when 22-year-old Brianna Warden was seven years old and in the throes of battling a life-threatening and rare genetic disorder called neurofibromatosis. I thought, you know what, even if I look different, I don't care if I don't win. I'm on stage and I'm advocating either way. The pageantry meant more than fancy dresses and cameras for the Gramsville team and against all odds, cancer, spinal surgeries, and a near arm amputation, she was crowned Miss Teen New York in 2013, gaining the platform she needed to raise awareness to NF. Ever since I was a young girl, I remember I need to do something to change the world. When I became Miss Teen New York, I was like, wow, I'm going to make a change. Since then, Brianna has used her crown to inspire others. And in November, I am forever grateful and honored. She was named the 2020 National Ambassador for the Children's Tumor Foundation at a gala that raised $2.5 million for research and hopefully someday a cure. We're really, we're changing the world of NF and more clinical trials are opening up. There's medications that are going to be passed by the FDA. And while she continues to help make strides, her message to others is one of hope. If you keep reaching for your dreams and say, I can do this, and then you, you will. Brianna absolutely deserves that sash. I feel honored to have a young lady with such grace and passion for her cause representing New York. Life just got a little bit easier for one Connecticut mom. Yeah, come on. Iris Colon's daughter was born with cerebral palsy. She depends heavily on her mother. So when Iris's car died, she didn't know how she'd get her little girl to and from her frequent doctor's appointments. I didn't know what to do because it's only me and my daughter. That is until a friend recommended she reach out to Joe Calico, the founder of a local nonprofit. Well, thanks to Mr. Calico, Colon received a new wheelchair accessible van. 
She and her daughter won't be missing any appointments anytime soon. A world-renowned piano man is making beautiful music to inspire the next generation. Famous pianist Tian Jung was invited to New York by Carnegie Hall's president back in 1981. Since then, he's made his rounds performing in all sorts of lavish establishments for all sorts of audiences. Today, he's playing original music for a group of middle school students in the Bronx. I always love to teach young children how to play the piano and inspire them to learn the piano. I hope the music really in, in inspire them, you know, transport them into that world. And it has. The students were so starstruck that they wouldn't let him go without signing a few autographs first. Now, if you're getting good with the teenagers, you're good for life. It's draft day at Caldwell University, and the number one pick isn't even 10 years old. Check out this next story on CU's newest player, Sarah. Sarah Gary of Booton has not even hit double digits when it comes to age. How old are you? Nine. You have to say it so he can hear you. Nine. Nine. But at just nine years old, Sarah is a cougar. This signing making it official. Yeah. She goes to practices, team dinners, games. We did the national anthem before the game, and Sarah lined up at the line with us. The Cougars and Sarah connected through the Boston nonprofit Team Impact, which pairs children battling illnesses with college sports teams. Sarah has cerebral palsy. Sarah was broken, but put back together by a retired pediatric nurse and her husband, who became mom and dad. We said, okay, we'll just take care of her until you find her a new home, but she was with us about five minutes and we knew she was home. <laughs> Sarah found her home and now found her team. Don't mistake this adorable nine-year-old for a mascot or a cheerleader, though. She plays life coach. I tell him every day, like, don't take opportunities for granted. Don't take life for granted. So to have Sarah be a part of us and, you know, her being at practice and her being at games, I think it just makes them value life even, even more. But Sarah's not the only one making buckets. Robbie Twible of Long Island usually announces his high school's basketball games, but tonight the coach decided to change things up. Our new starter, number 34, from the mean streets of Westbury, 5'5". Five, five. Robbie Twible! You're starting, Robbie. Well, Robbie was born with a rare disease called Epidermolysis bullosa, or EB for short. Um, he was born with no skin on most of his legs. But that didn't stop him from suiting up and laying up. Nothing but net for the team's first home game. It meant so much today, uh, especially for me to, to get to see my son score a bit. Sorry. Just amazing. That's what I call a slam dunk. Now, talk about being in the right place at the right time. A group of New Jersey students pulled up to the Philadelphia Museum of Art for a field trip. You know, it's home of those famous Rocky Balboa steps. Well, the Sylvester Stallone himself hopped out of a black SUV and surprised them all. He took selfies, gave out hugs, and shook hands with the students and the staff. Now, I'm a huge fan of Stallone's. Do you remember his inspirational speech from Rocky IV? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> well, here on a positive note, it might be. Speaking of rainbows, they can happen at night too. I think it's time for a feel good fact. Moonlight can shine through water droplets just like sunlight does, and that creates what's called a moonbow or a lunar rainbow in the nighttime sky. Moonbows are fainter and harder to see than rainbows, but photographs using long exposure can capture each stream of color. Just more proof that even in the darkness, something beautiful can come through. Nearly a dozen friends came together to surprise a New Jersey IHOP waitress with a $1,200 cash tip. Why? Just to spread cheer. Now get this, the waitress was so shocked, she tried to return the money at first thinking the customers left it as a mistake. But the group insisted in hopes of inspiring others to commit more acts of kindness. You're watching On a Positive Note, don't go anywhere.